Okay, this video is going to quickly focus on how to create specific reports that you uh, that you would like developed custom for you. Uh, filtering and data reports are all about um, creating a custom report that will query the database that holds all of these records and all this information together and extracts from it the narrow list of data that you actually want from it and then make a report from it. So the way we do that is over here on the left under reporting, we have a data viewer. Click on data viewer and then up here you will see new. All right, I'm going to say I want to create a new report that focuses on students. Again, different users with different permission levels may have the ability to produce other types of reports. From here, I have to figure out how I want to put my query together. Again, query is all about searching in the database and then whatever field you want, that's what we use to filter. Uh, so I can go in here and uh, produce it however I want. Maybe I want to make it by school name and I can drag that over here. So these are all meant to be drag and drop. I didn't do it the first time I did it, but I dragged it again and you can see school name is in here. So now that I have uh, school name in here, I can choose um, which schools I want. In this case, there's only one school available here, so it's only going to say Harrison High. But I could go through this list here and pick exactly what it is that I'm looking for to put in my report. Whatever fields exist here, it will go in the database, this very large database, and it will look for any record and every piece of data that has to do with these fields. So first name, last name, school name, and student number. So what this would do is pull up any record that's attached to just these students. And the more columns you put to it, generally the less data you're going to get because you're filtering down the list to an even smaller and narrower group of students or records. Okay. Uh, once I do that, uh, up here at the very top, you can see filter. So what is it that we're really truly trying to filter by? So I could say fil uh, filter by um, last name if I wanted to, and I could say I want the last name uh, to just be those students with the last name Abeg. Um, and you can see how that works, right? I've made it a, a much more narrow list, and so therefore it only pulls up one student. Um, I could go through and say, show me all of the students with uh, just the first name Mark. I don't know if they're going to have any in there. Oh, that's a shame. How about some Justins? Uh, and you can see, yes, they do have one Justin in there. It happens to be the same student I looked for earlier. But this is the idea uh, of what you can do here. And again, you've got all these fields. Depending on what your school district makes available to you, you can put together a very specific narrow report. Once you're finished, you can say add uh, a new filter and then continue to filter even in, uh, in even more ways. Uh, once you're done putting together your filters and you can see a preview of what the report would be down below, we can save it. Um, saving it's really huge, especially if you're wanting to, needing to come back to this on a regular basis. So maybe you want a, class, a list of all the juniors or just all the sophomores or uh, all those students that are of a certain age or have the same, you know, same birthdays or in the same sports. Or you can see all these fields that you can go and filter with. Um, you may, you know, saving it makes it easy to go back to them. Once you've saved it, um, let's see here. Um, Okay, it's saved. I can choose to print it if I want to. It says, must give the report a name. All right, I scroll down. I didn't see the name up here. So I'm just going to say this is the Justin report. All right, and then press save. Now it will save it for me. I can go back to that report anytime, and I can continue to customize it later. Now I should be able to print it. Okay, very good. And uh, there is the report ready for printing. I thought it was going to give me a print option, unless it's just not working in demo mode. Let me just double check here. Okay, see what it is. Once you uh, create the report, uh, you have to let it run. And then once it runs, then you just go back to data viewer. And I will see there's my report right there. It's, it says student Justin report because it's filtering students. And then the name I call, gave it was Justin report. Maybe not the greatest name in hindsight, but anyway, uh, over here on the right, I can say, how do I want to uh, output the data? 90% of the time, probably even higher, you're going to want a PDF, a nice document that can't be edited but can be printed easily. Uh, we can go through here then and say generate report. It's going to use those filters that you and I just set up. And you may not be able to see this, what my screen looks like because it opened up another window, but it will produce a nice, neat report that says the name of the school along the top with the school address. It will give the title of your report, and then it will show all of the records. 
So it is a very nice way uh, to produce a report an infinite campus and I think it's much easier than Tyler SIS to access I think it's easier for the everyday user to put the report together and it's easy to, to save them and produce the report so uh, again creating your own reports I think is much easier with infinite campus